This is a 41 year old male patient who has sustained a traumatic posterior dislocation of the right hip with the right hip as we can see is in the classic attitude of flexion, adduction, internal rotation and shortening. This video demonstration is reduction of the dislocation by East Baltimore technique wherein we require four people for the reduction. Here two people are required to do the lift who stand by the side of the patient and the hip and the knee is flexed at right angles. Two people of equal height are going to rest their forearm beneath the calf, resting their hands on the shoulder of the opposite person. A third person is going to give counter traction and the fourth person is going to stabilize the leg giving a downward traction. So now the traction is, the lift is and the lift is started and within one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seconds the reduction is complete. Once the reduction is achieved a clunk can be heard and post reduction you can see restoration of the normal length of the lower limb. Post reduction one has to check for stability by doing the telescopy test. Telescopy test would be done by flexing the knee and the hip at right angles and putting a posteriorly directed force to see whether the hip doesn't dislocate. So this is a stable hip. Also the post reduction sciatic nerve integrity is also checked. This is the pre-reduction x-ray of the same patient indicating the dislocation on the right side. And uh, these are the post-reduction x-rays showing a concentric reduction on the right side by East Baltimore lift technique. Thank you.